and honor to Christ. You know, this is all about Jesus Christ today. It's not, it's not about me. It's not about um, what I did. It's about what he did in my life. Um, you know, I really had no religious background growing up. I had some Roman Catholic that we went to, but we really weren't a part of the church. But, uh, you know, I saw the Lord at work in my life. And, you know, uh, eventually, you know, I got married young. Um, got married at 20, you know, uh, met my wife and uh, eventually wound up going into the military, went into the Air Force, and, uh, you know, I figured that would help me, make me a better person, but um, what it helped reveal was a, a lot of sin in my life, you know, a lot of sin that, uh, you know, uh, against my wife, you know, my, my daughter at the time. was gracious because you know my wife you know, she accepted Christ you know way before I did and she was patient with me she uh, just lived her life to be an example to me and you know uh, long story short you know the, during the military and getting out I wound up getting ill and I dealt with a lot of medical issues through the years that you know I look back now and I see that I see the Lord's hand in my life and uh, how there were times where they told me, you know, uh, you know, my whole family was worried, you know, I, I wasn't going to make it, you know, uh, you know, I coded one time in, in the, during surgery for, for a transplant, but my wife was, was always faithful. She was there. She told the doctor, she says, you know, the Lord's going to take care of him. You know, you do what you got to do. The Lord will take care of the rest. And, uh, it was later on, you know, when I spent some time in the hospital, she came to me and started, uh, uh, you know, explain to me about repentance and about Christ and how about uh, how He died for my sins, and that uh, that was available to me if I wanted. And, and she was patient with me, and you know, through her help and help of another uh, another brother at the church I was in at the time, they started discipling me, teaching me about the gospel, about repentance, about what Christ did on the cross for me how it's nothing that I can do, you know, like uh, they shared in Ephesians uh, 2, it's not by works, you know, there's none that I could do to, to ingratiate myself to Christ. And yeah, I look back at that time and, you know, how the Lord was just continued to work in my life. And, you know, it was, uh, you know, a few months later, like five, six months later that, you know, I accepted Christ into my life. And I, I really understood what repentance was because, uh, you know, before that I, I you know, everybody thought I was a good person, but I was a sinful person. You know, I did stuff I should have gone to jail for. You know, there were times I, I, I could have killed myself and, and my family for the stuff I was doing. And uh, and I look back and I see, you know, I see how Christ and the Lord was just watching over me. And I continue to grow in, in, in understanding, you know, the word more, but I was never really in a good uh Bible teaching church. You know, I read my Bible, I prayed, I shared the gospel, but in a theological sense, I wasn't growing. And I was at a church for a while, um, and I thought that was the church for me. I was there five years, and I come to find out that, uh, that their their teachings weren't wrong with what, what, the, what the Bible said, you know. And uh, at one time, they brought in a woman pastor, and I sat down and talked with the pastor about it, and he said that that was a... Uh, a cultural issue that Paul had brought it on himself, but um, the Lord started uh, uh, drawing me away from there and drawing me toward uh, uh, Reformed theology through a lot of people, a lot of ministries that I saw, and he started teaching me that and showing me that I was in the wrong church, that if I wanted to grow for Christ and be a tool for him uh, and for others in my life, that I needed to lead that church. I needed to find one where I was going to be taught, I was going to be under shepherded. You know, because, you know, despite what went on in my life, you know, uh, through myself and my wife, you know, uh, my mom and uh, my, my two sisters and my brother came to Christ, you know, because they saw the change that they did in her life because she was kind of a, re a rebellious person and the Lord changed her heart completely where she was opposite of what she used to be. And they say, well, if, you know, if he could work this in her life, and then they saw the change in my life. And... Uh, I started searching, you know, about two years ago, and uh, uh, through Sermon Audio and through Founders.org, 
you know, I found Cornerstone. And then I started doing my research, started uh, listening to the teachings of uh, Pastor Mark, Pastor, Pastor Rick. And uh, it came to a service and, you know, just that once I came to a Thanksgiving service and just the love that everyone showed to me, you know, they treated me as though, you know, I was already a member, not somebody coming from the outside, you know, and they, they stayed with me afterwards, explained things, told me, told me how, you know, uh, asked me my testimony, shared with me, you know, what the Lord had done in their lives and just opened up to me. And, uh, you know, the, the following month, you know, I let my pastor know at the old church, I said, I'm leaving, you know, uh, what you're teaching is, is not proper. Started coming to Cornerstone and uh, I, I'm so thankful, you know, for for everyone that's here today because I see the, it's Christ at work in me. It's the repentance. I, I'm understanding even more the, the, the things that I pushed away in my life, but the things that I still need to change in my life because I'm still a sinner. I understand that, you know, I'm, I'm never going to be perfect till, till the Lord returns. And, you know, I just want to say uh, my heartfelt thanks to you know, to Pastor Mark, Pastor Michael, Pastor Dale, to, to Jerome, to, to Edgar, to, to Raleigh, to all the brothers that have, have been there for me, not just on Sundays, but anytime I had a question, I had doubts, they were help, there to help me and, and help me understand and, and take me out and teach me the, the, the proper way of evangelism, you know, the, the right way to study, you know, to understand about the Puritans, because I never knew anything about that. You know, now I, it's like, you know, it's opened up a new understanding for me where everything came from but um you know all glory to christ who without him dying on the cross uh, i wouldn't have this forgiveness for the lord for drawing me towards him you know for for all those that uh despite my sinful life still stood by me and encouraged me and i, I just I, I look back and you know I, i'm not worthy to be called the son of God. I'm not. Because, you know, the stuff I did was, was first of all, it was, it, was, it, it was against the Lord, first of all. Then it was against my loved ones. But God was gracious enough. He granted me mercy. And he told me that he still loved me. And he, and he told me that there'd still be trials in my life, but the Lord would help me through them. You know, and I've been going through some trials lately. And I see the hand of God in my life. Just encouraging me, helping me, teaching me. And, and I'm hoping that I could be an example to others. So, you know, that's my testimony. And, you know, and, and it's all about Christ. You know, that Pastor Mark shared today. You know, we go look back to God's providence in our lives. You know, the things that he's done for us. How he's kept us out of danger. How he's rescued us. How he's brought people into our lives. And it's not to, you know come to Christ and we look back that we don't understand that. So God bless you and, 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 and thank you. It's a great joy to baptize our brother. A great the Lord has brought him here. And it's uh, our joy in the Lord to baptize six for the day. Uh, six does come to us uh, based upon his profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Turning from sin, trusting Christ alone for salvation. It's our joy to baptize our brother Sixto. Woo! In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Amen.